What we're trying to do with the headphonium is, last year at the show Newport, there were headphone companies here, but they were all spread out. So you really didn't know where they were and a lot of people got missed. And when Richard Beers, who owns the show, approached me and said he wanted to do a dedicated headphone show, and we had a little bit of real estate to deal with, but the idea was to get the best of the best, and not only that, the best of the best, but the people that I know are just wonderful people. The community of personal audio, headfi.org, my friends at Odyssey, my friends at ALO, you know, these guys really represent the bleeding edge because they truly love what they do. Um, they're doing the kinds of outreach that I've been writing about editorially. These guys just got written up in Men's Home Journal, um, Playboy Magazine called the Odyssey LCD 3, um, the best headphone they have ever auditioned. I think they called it the Ferrari of headphones, is that right? Yeah. And so to get all the best of the best and the people that would show attendees that this is a community hobby driven thing and what the high-end audio has lost is that aspect of it you know hobby became the small niche which became elitist and it, it separated itself completely from pop culture and the amazing thing about headphones is every company in this room can relate to just about everybody on the street because all they have to do is say you got an iPhone, you got an Android, you got an iPod, whatever you got, they can enhance that experience because we have millions of users out in the world currently using earbuds, Beats by Dre, or whatever it is they're using, and they have no idea that you can get better and that you don't have to spend an arm and a leg. And honestly, the part that excites me most about this, and writing reviews of hi-fi components for years, as you can imagine, you know, I've, I've heard my fair share of stuff. Right now, I only want to review personal audio stuff because it's exciting and because I know that for the first time we can reach, we can infiltrate pop culture and we can show the populace that they don't have to settle for convenience anymore. And so the idea here is just to give a good smattering to people of what the other levels are. You know, they don't have to settle for the earbud. They don't have to settle just for an iPhone. You know, they could put an iDevice DAC on it, a headphone app, sleep devices. So it's communal driven. This is a high-end audio show. It always has been. So you know, you can you can here you can find a hundred thousand dollar turntable, or you can find a two thousand dollar or a two hundred. But that's been the focus of this show: is strictly high-end two channel. This year they have a theater, but it's really about the high-end audio world. These vendors get to have those people come in and hear what they've been hearing in room but they get to hear it here like you put on a pair of Odyssey LCD 3's and in my opinion you have to spend at least 20 grand in stereo equipment to, to get the type of realism you know the sense of air and space around you I mean when I put on my LCD 3's and I have a stellar stereo it used to be I'd be listening in my reference system and go Oh, this is great. Now when I hear something on my reference system, I go, I got to hear these on my Odysseys. And that's, so that reaction that I now get from it, that's what these vendors get to show to people. They get to excite people that way. You know, we've got ALO has their new statement, Studio 6. Again, I, you know, I've mentioned the Odyssey LCD 3. Um, Sentrance, right over here, is introducing a outstanding iDevice DAC and headphone amp. It's got fully balanced outputs. It's really cutting edge. So what the attendees get to see is brand new stuff, and it's all big boy toys. So we get to play with toys. And the thing that's different, too, I want to state about a personal audio event is if you walk into a high-end audio room, odds are you're not going to be playing what you want. They're going to have a set you know, playlist, and they've been playing the same music for years. And in personal audio, I can't tell you, as a music journalist and an audio journalist, I've learned about more new music from members on HeadFi. I've also learned more about personal audio from members on HeadFi. This community is community driven. So they also, newcomers get to get a piece of that. They get to feel what, what that's about. And that's what the high end has lost, in my opinion, is that communal vibe. So that's really what they get out of it. That's what I, that's what I hope they'll get out of it. That's really what I hope they get out of it. My favorite part of the show is right here. And because right here is where the innovation is happening, right here is where the youth are, and right here is actually, whether people believe it or not, 
The people coming here and getting excited about enhancing the experience of whether it's an iPod or an iPhone or a laptop, those people may or may not grow into, you know, high-end stereo. Now, they may stay with headphones and that's awesome, but the truth is high-end audio doesn't recognize that the people here, this community, they're educated because they educate themselves, um, they support each other, and it's very unlike some of the politicking that's been going on in high-end audio for years. So that's also something I want to expose what I like to call the old guard to, to see that the community, pers the, the personal audio community has built what high-end audio had in the 80s, except for it's modern now, and it's today, and my biggest wish for the show is just that people walk away having heard something new, and that they're just excited, that they go home and tell a friend, that they go home and tell a cousin, that they go home and tell a friend of a friend. As long as the message keeps spreading, that's our goal. And that's really what I want to have happen here. I want to, you know, more seeds, more seeds. Anybody watching this in audio head, if this is your first time visiting the site, stick with it because Brian does an outstanding job. I mean, everything down from his sonic commentary to his commentary on the products, the way he ex can explain it to a layman, and the pictures. Everything about the blog is pro. So trust me, again, if you're seeing this for the first time and it's your first time on Audiohead, stay there. So I'll say peace, happy listening, and music can save lives.